All right, everybody, we got this 94 Pathfinder that is bagged and body dropped. And what we are doing now is trying to get headlights put in. This is an easy task, but I figured since I haven't done a video in a while, I thought that I would go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to close this hood. Maybe. This really is a two-hand job here, closing the hood. But anyway... So we've got the custom bumper. I'm trying to get that fitted a little bit better. I went ahead and got my corner markers put in. I'm going to have to repaint these fenders anyway. But my corner marker got into my fender right there. Scratched my paint up. The fender is going to have to be pulled away just a hair. And my paint company has switched hands. And I don't think I'm going to like dealing with the people that are running the paint company now and I really kind of think I'm gonna have to switch colors this is an amazing color and I don't want to switch colors but I think I'm going to let me see if I can get with the person that I know her new company is uh, it's called revolt automotive paint automotive finishes something like that that revolt is what I'm going to be trying to switch everything over to. But uh, she's right now starting all of that and making all of the new colors that she's going to have. But anyway, so I'm going to just give her some time and I'm going to kind of wrap up some things that I have going on. The headlights was one of my issues. These are BMW headlights. This is a E24 headlight housing. And I had these in there and sitting in the yard for about eight years, I believe. This thing sat in the yard. And those were getting kind of crappy looking. And LEDs have been the new go-to thing. So I went ahead and got these and I put those in. And they just plug right in. I'll raise this up a little bit. Let's see, maybe turn my flash on. And so what I've done is... I've added one of these in so that I've got two of those and this was my halo rings and on these housings here the halo rings plug in one on each side and it lit up the surround of that whatever color you wanted but these here have two is that a female blade so i'm gonna have to get a male blade and what it is one of these you can hook up to your blinker and one of these you can hook up to your parking lot and your blinker will make it light up yellow or orange amber whatever you want to call it and the other wire will be a white These, I got those on sale on eBay. I don't have my dash in yet. Anyway, the bottom lights up with the dim. And when you flip this to bright, the inside ones come on. And top and bottom. And the outsides, the top comes on as well as the bottom right now the top or the outside is off so anyway what I'm gonna do is I've not decided what color I'm gonna put on this outside I have some clear LEDs I also have some red filament and i have some of these these are it's like a hyper white it looks blue but it's really kind of a hyper white i don't have any amber led or i would see if they're going to be too bright with those i may just go ahead and put in these hyper white filaments right now they're orange i will consider all of that it's getting really cold and today and tomorrow is really the last days that I have 
to uh, do much for about seven days. I think it's going to get like bitter cold. To put these E24 buckets in, I just carved all of this out and I did this years and years ago, like eight years ago. Looks like I built a bracket right here and I built a bolt point right there. Probably I welded a nut on the, a nut on the back side to where I could bolt that in. Looks like some little square tubing to go over and welded that onto there. Looks like I built a bracket right here to hold this side in place. I didn't have any of those chrome rings that you're supposed to screw on. So I just siliconed that. And hopefully that will hold. It may not. It held those in really nice. But it was probably a different silicone because this looks like I'm going to have to rework that. Not a big deal. And it was really cold out here whenever I silicone those in so hopefully I don't have to buy those rings because they're pretty expensive but let's see okay so I need to I'm trying to get this bumper lined up so I put the corner markers in and I'm probably gonna have to cut the brackets and re-weld the brackets to make the bumper fit like I want I was putting these together, wasn't I? All of this paint is getting messed up. I might as well repaint everything that I've already painted. We'll open the hood back up. And what I'm going to do is cut all of this out. Take all of the loom off. And then I will use one of these. I'll remove the other and I'll use one to plug in. And I'm probably not going to have these going with my blinker. I think I'm just going to run the, those with the white halos. Basically as like a driving light. Alright, I'll cut into this and I'll catch you back up in a minute. Alright, so in my dash here on the right side, I'm going to have these three switches. One of these is for the air compressor, one of these is for driving lights, and one of these is for daytime running lights. And what I'm going to do, put the key on, these light up blue. And if you turn it on, the whole thing lights up blue like that. So the daytime running lights is what I'm going to hook that up to. It's not actually going to be hooked up to the parking light. And my bumper... I've got some lights that will go in the bottom of this bumper and they have halo rings very similar to that and I've already got a wire up here it is either this purple one or this red one I don't remember which so I'm gonna get my voltmeter and I will dig into that and so I carved open some of this and I see what I've got here I've got a ground and a hot coming in that is possibly already hooked to my purple or my red in here somewhere. I need to check that, but I'm gonna cut this loose right here where it splits. And then this can go back on the shelf with my old lights. I'm gonna make sure this does light up and See, I will cut this one open and do the same with it. And I'm gonna get me a male blade made up with a piece of wire, probably red. I'll just uh, go ahead and start making those up over here in the other part of my shop. I've got this really cluttered. I'm going to have to dig in here and find my connectors and find some red wire. That looks like my red wire. So pull that off. Alright, and take that with me. 
and grab some connectors and my crimper thing. I will find that and my strippers and I'll cut you back on in a minute. All right, so these are Klein tools. That is my crimper. Do you hear my hand? Golly. I'm going to have arthritis or something. So anyway, we're going to crimp these on with this tool. And you'll have a red, a blue, and a yellow. That is the size of the wire. These are going to be the blue. They're like the medium. That's my strippers. I got these at Home Depot. The Kleins. These are Doyle. Those came from Harbor Freight. These are really nice. I know people talk about Harbor Freight tools, but this is a really nice pair of strippers. And I don't know, off-brand cutters. They do work good. Anyway, so I'm going to strip this back. I'm going to go ahead and put a female blade on there. I think these are the nylon ones. Those are probably better. And, um... We'll get the size, the length of this wire after we strip this and get our fitting put on. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hook that together and I will solder. Once I get the length correct, I will solder my red wire to this red wire and I will heat shrink that together. And I will plug that in and see if it is getting a ground through here. It's a good chance that it is getting a ground through here because I don't see a ground wire. I assume the green will be for the amber light and I assume the red will be for the white light. And there is no ground so I'm assuming we're good. It gets its ground from there. And we will just test it and see what we've got and I will cut you back on in a minute. UPS just ran. I've got this 50 inch TV that I'm also working on. I think this board went out. That is the main board. I've already got a different board for the power. That's the power board. And the power board did not fix this TV. The TV will come on and it will go right back off. It will only be on for about five or ten seconds and it goes right back off I'm gonna check this and make sure that it looks the same as that one fixing TVs is not what I do so I I'm just, uh, just trying to make this up as I go and these little ribbons right here I'm hoping that I can get those back on there right this come to find out you flip that up and then the ribbon comes off So anyway, and then this one I pried it out somehow. Anyway, I don't know. I'll figure this out. I'll let you know how it comes out before I close this video. Because, I don't know, this may not work. Anyway, alright, back to the headlights. Okay, this inside one right here, I have hooked up to the red wire on that light. And this outside one I hooked up to the other, what was it, green? Anyway, I don't have this soldered and heat shrinked, so that is a bare wire. So I just used my loom right here to keep it from arcing across anything. And I will, once again, see if I can shut this hood with one hand. This hood is hard to shut with one hand. And we won't close it all the way. We'll stand back and we will look at that. So this is supposed to be like a switchback. So if I was to hook both of those up, that should be orange. And if I unhooked or, um, let me see, the, the blinker here, if it's giving a signal, basically is what it'll be on that, I think it was green, then it would be orange. If they are both hooked up, it should be orange. If only the other one is hooked up, it should be white. I don't even think I'm going to run that. I might later. But this blinker down here is going to be pretty bright. I don't think I'll need those. Plus they'll be behind this grill right here. And will they show? Probably. But 
mean, I don't know how much. This truck doesn't have headlights in it, but um, this truck's also got blinkers in the mirrors. It's always a good idea to have as many blinkers and things as you can to make it safe, but um, I might hook that up later or possibly even just the outside one or whatever. So anyway, I'm going to continue on and solder and heat shrink this together and I'll show you how I do that. Alright, here's another Harbor Freight tool. That is my soldering iron. That blinking light tells me that it's ready to go. Here is some solder. And I've got a heat shrink heat gun right over here. And at this point, it is ready. The blinking light, we're good to go on this. What I've done is... It will not focus. I just twisted some wire together like that. And then I put my heat shrink tubing on already. If you do not put your heat shrink tubing on prior to soldering, then you will not have heat shrink tubing to slide down over that. You'll end up having to tape that or unsolder it and then applying your heat shrink tubing and reapplying your solder. What a mess. So I'm going to try to solder both of these in, slide the heat shrink tubing on there and heat that down and it will be sealed up and it will be ready at that point for this let me just pull that back and tape that wire in with this other i think that'll be good it'll be cleaner that way and i'll put you back on there is the harness that i've got now it's not as clean as i want i may clean on that some more but like i said i'm probably going to have to rewire a lot of this not rewire. I'm probably going to have to repaint a lot of this. And right there is why it's chipped. But anyway, um, maybe I can just get a sleeve or something. Fabric sleeve, basically, like what this is, this loom. That might be what I have to do to hide because that's going to keep chipping the paint. Anyway. I'm going to get this other side all fit together like I have this one, and then we will see what these look like. Alright, there we go. Those are pretty bright. And the ones in the bumper will be the same, just a little smaller. Alright. I'm going to go in there and see if I can finish this TV, and... I'll let you know because I'm curious. All right, that fixed the TV. That is awesome. So now I can watch my music videos while I work. And I guess it was that board. So I guess that's trash. Didn't really cost that much. And I was able to get my money back on the other board. So I fixed the TV in $44 or so. Alright. That'll be it on this video. I'm going to work on this for a little while. Alright. Talk to you guys later.